Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a new version of the Unreal Engine Spotify controls. And this one is uh, working inside, well right now it's Unreal Engine 5, but it will also work with Unreal Engine 4.26. So uh, let's uh, Let's go through what it does right now. <coughs> if you, well, let's just for a minute uh, delete the safe credentials. Um, it works similar to the previous version, except there have been many improvements and uh, it's essentially an entire rewrite of the system. Um, so it does now work inside a uh, uGame instance subsystem, meaning it has the same lifetime as a game instance, and uh, it will persist between worlds. So I've uh, chosen to play some soundtrack in the background on a Spotify account, and uh, let's just, uh, if we hit play here, we will be prompted to authorize the UE4 controls app. In my case, uh, this is what you call your uh, app inside the Spotify developer console. Okay, so if you hit agree, you will be re redirected to a local host where the engine hosts a starts up a, a web server, more or less. And once it receives the, a code, it will shut the web server down, so it says unable to connect if you try it again. However, it has already authorized um, and uh, authenticated itself and can now use uh, the Spotify web API. So, and this version right now does only support uh, receiving information. It does right now does not support uh, play, pause, uh, skipping, seeking, changing volume. Uh, these are, are all things that I will add in the future. Uh, one thing I want to uh, say is that this uh, version of uh, the... this work version of the uh, uh, project which is, by the way, located inside a new uh, repository. It's called Spotify Unreal Controls. Uh, I will put the link inside the video description. Uh, uh, the old one was using a uh, player controller and uh, a, another version of authentication. So this uh, new version is using the uh, author authorization code flow with proof key for code exchange PKC. So what this means is uh, when you first uh, authorize with the whole website thing, with, with this thing right here, as you saw, uh, the uh, engine creates a verifier, which is a random string in my case, I made it uh, 64 characters long. And it then gets hashed using SHA-256 and then base64 encoded and sent. And then once uh, this one, once you receive the uh, auth code from the project, uh, not, not from the project, from the redirect, so in this case the code is whatever you can see here. Once this is retrieved, you then need to uh, uh, exchange it for an access token, as it says here. And for this you need to verify. What this means is that you don't need to uh, embed your secret key of your uh, application into your game or whatever you're working on. That requires a Spotify connection for some reason. Um, this is good because uh, with a secret key uh, someone else could be making uh, API requests that you do not want them to and uh, possibly do
do bad things. I'm no expert on the on the matter, but I guess it's better to just have uh, the uh, whatever flow they they were calling it here, the uh, the PKC. Uh, so that is uh, one 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 thing. Um, I will also make it a bit more accessible, meaning the idea is that you go into your project settings and then in here you have a uh, one, one of these categories where you can make your settings so that you don't have to input your client key. Uh, you don't have to input your client key and you can set these things all up manually. Um, the way it's working inside here, so if I go out of play and now hit play again, it saves the credentials and will authorize using the refresh key, which does not expire unless a user revokes it manually. <coughs> so you can bind to this uh, event and then this is called uh, every one second or about every one second. So every one second it uh, pulls the API, essentially. And then uh, it updates all uh, these things right now. Uh, as you can see, if I let's, uh, go back to the browser, so I can, if I skip forward a bit, whenever it receives a new New update, it'll uh, update uh, if I, but let's just uh, switch, uh, skip to the next one. And as you can see, it also works with uh, having with songs that have multiple artists. Every artist will be uh, comma separated here and you'll receive them using a array of strings, artists. Okay, so that's it for now. Only wanted to let everyone know that I'm working on a new version of this project and it's already somewhat usable. Uh, yeah, you, you can access it at the, at the, at this link, which again, I will put inside the video description. Uh, okay, see you.